Hi everyone, welcome to another Quiet PC video with myself, Andy Ford. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because we are having a clear out of our B-grade products. What you see here is a small selection of the products we have to offer, so stay tuned for some incredible bargains. There's only one place to be for a new PC. QuietPC.com Please note, due to the nature of B-grade items being unique, we can only offer them on a first-come, first-served basis. Now, it is possible that we may run out of stock very quickly, and if any item is out of stock, we'll notify you via email, and then at your request, refund the price of your out-of-stock item. B-grade products are only available to customers who live in mainland UK. Now, B-grade products are B-grade for one or more of the following reasons. The item has previously been used, the original box or packaging is damaged or missing, there is superficial damage, which depending on the product may just be a slight scratch, but nothing that would prevent the item from actually working. There could be missing documentation, or it could simply be a return review sample. Regardless of the reasons, B-grade items have been checked and are fully functional, and it's a great way to get these items at significantly reduced prices. You can find all our B-grade products at the bottom of the components tab on our website. You can also check in the top left of any product page to see if any B-grade products exist for the product you are currently viewing. And it's here you can also check the price of the B-grade product against the regular product price. Half of today's offerings will consist of cases and the rest are various components including keyboards and CPU coolers, most of which I'll take out of their boxes for a closer look. With the PC cases, I'll tell you which of our systems we use them in so that you can check on our website and see which components we use for that particular case. Right, let's take a look at the cases first, starting with the Streetcom FC10WS fanless chassis. And we currently have two big red units available, one black and one silver. Many home theatre chassis are finished with a brushed aluminium effect, but the FC10 is not like other home theatre chassis. Streetcom have finished the FC10 in a very fine shot blaster finish which gives an elegant look to the aluminium rather than a lined look which brushing produces. It's all down to personal preference as to which looks better but one advantage a shot blasted finish has over a brush finish is that it doesn't leave visible fingerprints behind as brushed aluminium finishes often do. We use these cases for the Laura Fanless Media PC. Now our next case is a Streetcom F12C OD. The unique design of this case isn't just skin deep. Streetcom have developed a new drive and fan mounting system that does away with traditional fixed location bays, making this case incredibly adaptable and configurable. Drives and fans can be mounted anywhere on both sides of the case and at virtually any orientation. This allows you to mix, match and perfectly position the drives and fans for optimal cooling and hardware compatibility. This is the largest of our home theatre cases and it can even take full size ATX motherboards making it perfectly suited for use as a high end home entertainment system. We use these cases for our ultimate 4K entertainment PC. Now our next case is the Silver Streak of DB4 and we currently have two of these available on B grade. The DB4 is quite a unique case designed with mini ATX motherboards in mind. It features a bisymmetrical design that blurs the lines between technology and art. Every element of this case subtly screens premium, from the 13mm thick extruded aluminium side panels with a very fine shot blast of finish, to the precision CNC'd internal frame, all perfectly blended together with Streetcom's characteristically understated design tone. We use these cases for our DB4 Silent Cube system builds. Now our next case is the Streetcom FC8WS Alpha Silver Fanless Home Theatre Chassis and we currently have three of these available on B grade. The FC8 Alpha sets the benchmark for small, sleek, powerful home theatre cases and it's more than just the next iteration of the FC8 product line. It's a massive redesign with subtle refinements to its form and function. With its stylish, understated looks, the Streetcom FC8 is a case that will complement the audio-visual experience in any home. Thanks to its specially designed fanless CPU cooling system, the FC8 offers totally silent cooling. The finely sandblasted aluminium cabinet is beautifully finished and will look at home sat under your TV or even on the desk in your office. And we use these cases for the Sentinel fanless and Sentinel fanless Ryzen systems. Our next case is the Streetcom FC5 OD Alpha Silver fanless home theatre chassis. 
The FC5 Alpha follows in its predecessor's footsteps. With the same minimalist styling, the updated version brings even more refinement to this time and sleek design. At the heart of these improvements is the updated bottom panel, which is not only more robust, but has now been redesigned to optimise airflow, thereby reducing internal temperatures. Motherboard size and drive storage options also benefit from this new design, with the SC5 Alpha now accommodating an additional two 2.5 inch drives and a full size ATX motherboard. A single USB 3 port is now located on both sides of the case for easier access and balance. Again, this is a system that will look entirely at home sat under your TV. We use these cases ourselves for the Sidewinder Fanless Media PC system builds. OK, now let's move on to a few John's Ball cases, starting with the UMX4 Zone Silver Window Compact MIDI Tower. The John's Ball UMX4 is a compact ATX case that combines a steel chassis for maximum stability with an extravagant exterior designed in brushed aluminium. The design of the sleek aluminium casing is both elegant and functional. Thanks to the specially decoupled side panels, the UMX4 is also very quiet during operation. The side panels rest on a specially designed silicone pad, optimally absorbing any vibrations that may occur. The chassis of the UMX4 is made of high quality 1mm thick steel and gives the case maximum stability. Both the aluminium panel enclosing the chassis and the side panels are formed from 2mm thick aluminium sheets. And we use these cases for the following systems. The Nofan A890, Ryzen Fanless Pro and Serenity X490 workstations. The next case is a John's Bow RM3 Zone Silver Window Micro ATX. Despite the compact dimensions of the RM3, the spacious interior allows the installation of Micro ATX or Mini ATX motherboards. The RM3 can also accommodate standard ATX power supplies and the case has four expansion slots. The installation of the motherboard is very simple. After removing the left glass panel, it can be installed with little effort. In order to guarantee a particularly quiet running system, the hard disk drives are mounted on an anti-vibration mount at the bottom of the case. You can install two 2.5 inch hard drives or SSDs on the special frame at the bottom of the case and another behind the motherboard. Additionally, two 3.5 inch hard disk drives or 2.5 inch SSDs can be installed towards the front of the case. Currently, we don't use this case in any of our systems. OK, our final case is the John's Boy U3 Micro ATX Aluminium in black. The U3 is the largest of the attractive U-series cases from John's Boy. The main feature of this case series is the timeless design with elegantly rounded corners and a simplistic yet attractive exterior. The hard disk drives are mounted on anti-vibration pads situated at the bottom of the case and you can install either two 2.5 inch or one 3.5 inch hard drives or SSDs. In addition, a 3.5 inch hard disk drive can be accommodated in the side mounted HDD rack. The U3 comes with a quiet 120mm fan pre-installed on the rear panel. The speed of the fan can be adjusted via an external switch on the rear of the case. As its name suggests, the U3 supports micro ATX motherboards, but it also supports full-sized ATX power supplies and can take graphics cards up to 260mm in length. A total of four PCI expansion slots are available on this case. Currently, we don't use this case in any of our system builds. Right, well that's it for the cases, and now for a look at some keyboards, starting with the Matthias Quiet Pro Mechanical Keyboard, and this has a UK layout. I use one of these keyboards here at Quiet PC, and while they are reasonably quiet for a mechanical keyboard, they are not silent. That said, I love this keyboard, it has a solid feel to it and the action is superior to the last keyboard I used which had membrane keys. The latest trend in keyboards is to have very flat and wide keys with little or no space between them. You see this a lot on laptops and notebooks. While they look great, they can also be a little tricky to type on. The flatness makes it very easy for fingers to slide out of the home row and you quickly lose your bearings. The Quiet Pro brooks this trend and it has traditionally sculpted key tops which are curved to fit your fingertips. For me, it also has the additional benefit of media and audio control keys. Next, we have the Noxia Encore Retro Keyboard, also with the UK layout. With the Encore Retro, we present for the first time a mechanical keyboard whose design corresponds to a classic typewriter, so the typewriter feeling is combined with the latest technology. The keyboard is made of ABS with chrome plating and it's compatible with the latest Windows operating systems. Now despite its deliberately chosen retro look underneath, it's a true mechanical keyboard with all the advantages they bring. 
This includes, for example, anti-ghosting and the possibility to switch between 6-key and N-key rollover. Our final keyboard is the A4Tech KL5 USB Compact, and this also has a UK layout. This mini keyboard is a great solution for anyone needing a convenient USB keyboard in a compact package. The emission of a numeric keypad along with reorientation of the cursor and navigation keys saves a large amount of desk space and is perfect where space is at a premium, such as in server cabinets or in retail environments. Now on CPU coolers and we'll start with the Noctua NHD15 Dual Radiator Quiet CPU Cooler. Built on the shoulders of the legendary D14 and carrying on its quest for ultimate quiet cooling performance, Notchwood's flagship model, the NHD15, is an elite class dual tower cooler for the highest demands. Its expanded heat pipe layout and two premium grade NFA15 140mm fans with PDUM support for automatic speed control allow it to further improve the D14's award winning efficiency. It's topped off with the trusted ProGrade SecureFirm 2 multi-socket mounting system and Notchwood's proven H1 thermal compound. The D15 forms a complete premium quality solution that represents a deluxe choice for overclockers and silent enthusiasts alike. As with all CPU coolers I'm going to show you today, do go to our website and ensure that the cooler you are interested in is compatible with your CPU socket type. So on to our next CPU cooler, the Noctua NH-U12DXI4 High Performance Intel Xeon CPU Cooler. The U12DXI4 is based on the latest version of Anotchua's award-winning NH12 coolers. First introduced in 2005, the NHU series have become a standard choice for premium quality quiet CPU coolers and have won more than 400 awards and recommendations from leading international hardware websites and magazines. The cooler is supplied with Notchua Secure Firm 2 mounting system and that has become synonymous with quality, safety and ease of use. Supporting Intel's LGA2011, both square and narrow ILM, LGA1356 and LGA1366 Xeon platforms, the Secure Firm 2 mounting system guarantees perfect contact pressure and maximum convenience on all sockets. Now onto our next CPU cooler, the ever popular Noctua NHU14S. Thanks to its slim design, the U14S cooler will not overhang the RAM slots, even with two fans installed. This gives the user full access to the memory modules on all current CPU sockets and guarantees 100% compatibility with tall heat spreaders or optional memory fans. The supplied NFA15 fan on the cooler supports PWM for convenient automatic fan speed control through the motherboard. In addition, the maximum fan speed can be reduced further using the supplied low noise adapter for even quieter operation. Standing just 165mm tall, these coolers are just short enough to fit in most modern mid or high end tower cases, but do check clearance before ordering. Now moving on to our final cooler, the Thermalrite Macho Rev B. As with all the Thermalrite's high performance coolers, the Macho Revision B makes use of well proven heat pipe technology. A total of six high performance 6mm heat pipes provide the most efficient dissipation of the heat from the processor. The heat pipes are tightly integrated into the nickel plated copper base, which guarantees the most effective heat dissipation. The Matchell Rev B now offers a significantly enlarged nickel plated and highly polished base measuring 53 by 40 mm. And thanks to this innovation, which is usually only found in high end models, the cooling capacity and the advantages in performance over competing products is further improved. Therefore, the Macho Rev B is perfectly suited to work with the current Intel Core i7 high performance CPUs with up to 8 cores. Well, that's all of the coolers, so now we change to mice and one in particular the Acer Cerberus Arctic 5 button ambidextrous mouse. Like the Matthias keyboard I showed you earlier, I also use the Cerberus mouse both here and at home. It's a no thrills mouse for sure, but it feels solid and sits well in the hand. The logo on the rear of the mouse lights up and changes colour from blue to pink to green and finally red to indicate the current DPI setting. The ambidextrous design works well, but the additional pair of buttons on the left side favour right-handed users. The mouse is also supplied with a 1.8m braided USB cable. That's our only mouse, so on to the final section in which we'll take a look at three expansion cards. And we'll start with the PNY NVIDIA MBS 510 Quad Display Port 4K Graphics Card. This card offers the latest in graphics and display technologies along with industry leading multi-display capabilities in a power friendly low profile form factor. 
The card supports four compact mini DisplayPort connectors that each let the NVIDIA MVS510 drive ultra high resolution displays up to 3840 by 2160 at 60Hz. This big grey graphics card is not supplied with any of the following instructions, driver CD, low profile bracket or mini DisplayPort to DisplayPort adapters. Although all you need to get it working are the latest NVIDIA drivers from NVIDIA's website and some suitable cables. Our penultimate item is the TBS6902 DVB S2 dual tuner TV card. And this PCI Express digital satellite TV tuner card is used for watching and recording free to air satellite TV on a desktop PC. With two tuners, the TBS6902 enables you to watch a TV channel from one transponder while recording another channel from another transponder at the same time. This dual tuner TV card is one of the most popular TV tuner cards available for building IPTV streaming systems. As Windows Media Center is no longer supported under Windows 10, we would recommend Media Portal and Kodi, formerly known as XBMC, for use with this card. Our final item is the Creative Lab Sound Blaster ZX PCIe High Performance Sound Card. The Sound Blaster ZX sits towards the top end of the Sound Blaster range of sound cards and offers an impressive 116 decibel signal to noise ratio and is bursting with high grade hardware and software features, making this a complete home entertainment audio system that's hard to beat. As well as a built in dual array noise cancelling condenser microphone, it's also supplied with an audio control module or volume dial to me and you, which also acts as a headphone and microphone socket. If you do purchase this card, then make sure you download the latest drivers from Creative's website. Well, that's all we have today, but remember, once they are gone, they are gone, so grab a bargain while you can. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.